Mr. President, I have the honor to speak on behalf of 120 member states of the non-aligned movement at the high-level meeting to commemorate and promote the National Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons. At the outset, we would like to express our appreciation to the President of the General Assembly, His Excellency Mr. Volkan Boskir, for convening this meeting, and to the Secretary General, His Excellency Mr. Antonio Guterres, for his participation. Mr. President, the non-aligned movement welcomes the commemoration of 26 September as the International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons, designated to the United Nations General Assembly Resolution number 68-32. The movement considers the annual observance of this International Day as one of the effective ways to draw the attention of the international public on dangers of nuclear weapons, the necessity for their total elimination, and the advantages of nuclear disarmament for development, as well as for international peace and security. Nuclear disarmament historically has been the highest priority for the movement, and we reiterate our concern over the threat to humanity posed by the continued existence of nuclear weapons and their possible use or threat of use. In this regard, we emphasize that the convening of the United Nations High-Level International Conference on Nuclear Disarmament as mandated by the General Assembly resolutions would provide an important opportunity to review progress made in nuclear disarmament and to further promote this noble objective. Mr. President, during the 18th Summit of the Non-Line Movement, held in October 2019 in Baku, Republic of Azerbaijan, the heads of state and government of the movement stressed that progress in nuclear disarmament and nuclear non-proliferation in all its aspects is essential to strengthening international peace and security. They also stressed the importance of ensuring that efforts aimed at nuclear non-proliferation are parallel to the efforts aimed at nuclear disarmament. Mr. President, as long as nuclear weapons exist, the risk of their use or threat of use, as well as their proliferation, persists. Any use of nuclear weapons is a violation of the Charter of the United Nations. And considering the catastrophic humanitarian consequences, the only and absolute guarantee against the use of nuclear weapons is their total elimination. The slow progress towards nuclear disarmament and the nuclear weapon state's lack of progress to accomplish the total elimination of their nuclear arsenals in accordance with their relevant multilateral legal obligations remain to be issues of deep concern to the non-aligned movement. We reaffirm the need for the nuclear weapon states that bear the primary responsibility for nuclear disarmament to take urgent and concrete actions aimed at achieving this goal. The non-aligned movement further reiterates with concern that improvements in existing nuclear weapons and the development of new types of nuclear weapons as provided for in the military doctrines of some nuclear weapon states including the United States Nuclear Posture Review, violate their legal obligations on nuclear disarmament, as well as the commitments made to diminish the role of nuclear weapons in their military and security policies and contravene the negative security assurances provided by the nuclear weapon states. The movement stresses once again that these improvements as well as the development of new types of such weapons, violate also the commitments undertaken at the time of the conclusion of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty and at the MPT Review Conference by the nuclear weapon states. Mr. President, it is time to take a new and comprehensive approach on nuclear disarmament. 
the international community is waiting for the realization of the goal of the total elimination of nuclear weapons. There is an urgent need to make concrete and systematic progress towards this end. The Non-Aligned Movement welcomes the convening of the first session of the Conference on the Establishment of a Middle East Zone Free of Nuclear Weapons and Other Weapons of Mass Destruction according to the General Assembly Decision No. 73-546, held from 18th November to 22nd November of 2018 at United Nations Headquarters in New York, an adoption of a political declaration and its final report. Member States of the movement look forward to the second session of the conference and continue to call upon all states of the region, without exception, to actively participate in this conference and negotiate in good faith and bring to a conclusion a legally binding treaty on the establishment of the zone. The movement also stresses that the resolution on the Middle East adopted by the 1995 Review and Extension Conference of the Parties to the MPT, as well as other relevant decisions on the subject adopted within the context of the Review Conferences, remain valid until the objective of the establishment of a zone free of nuclear weapons and other weapons of mass destruction in the Middle East is achieved, and that the implementation of decision number 73-446 is without prejudice to the validity of the foreset resolution and decisions and shall not also be construed as their replacement. At the same time, the non-aligned movement states parties to the MPT continue to express deep concern over long delay in the implementation of the resolution on the Middle East adopted at the 1995 MPT Review and Extension Conference calling for establishment of a new nuclear weapon-free zone in the Middle East and strongly urge the UN Secretary General and three co-sponsors of this resolution and to fully implement it without further delay, considering that the indefinite extension of the MPT is inextricably linked to the implementation of this resolution. Mr. President, being a staunch proponent of multilateral diplomacy, the non-aligned movement reiterates its determination to promote multilateralism as the core principle of negotiations in the field of disarmament and non-proliferation. The movement took note of the adoption of the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons on 7th July 2017 at the United Nations Conference to negotiate a legally binding instrument to prohibit nuclear weapons, leading towards their total elimination. It is hoped that when entered into force, the treaty would contribute to furthering the objective of the total elimination of nuclear weapons. The member states of the movement reaffirmed the importance of the Conference on Disarmament as the single multilateral negotiating body on disarmament and call for the urgent commencement of negotiations therein on further effective nuclear disarmament measures to achieve the total elimination of nuclear weapons, including in particular on a comprehensive convention on nuclear weapons. We further call for urgent compliance with legal obligations and the fulfillment of the commitments undertaken on nuclear disarmament. Mr. President, to conclude, the Non-Aligned Movement welcomes the UN meetings and activities for the commemoration of the International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons on 26 September, and we appreciate the participation of all delegations in this important event. We invite Member States, the UN system and the civil society, including non-governmental organizations, academia, parliamentarians, the mass media and individuals, to, to commemorate, commemorate and, and promote the International, International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons through all means of educational and public awareness raising activities. I thank you, Mr. President.